What's going on, every pony and pony villain, everybody at Candlelot High? You saw the name, you saw the cutie mark. It's your boy, Jukebox James, on the mic. And welcome to my very first video in the year of 2020. If you haven't done this already, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share, and subscribe to this little dude right here. Like I said, I know I have been very, very inactive on my YouTube channel because, as you may know, I was on tour with the Dazzlings. And I gotta say, that was pretty much the best tour I have ever went on with the girls. So, as of right now, I decided to come back home to come back home in Ponyville and start making some content on my YouTube channel again. Like I said, I apologize. But any of that, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to the Q&A! Okay, so the first question comes from Skeletal Hunt 99. What does Figment do behind the scenes as manager? Oh, yes. Figment, the imagination dragon. It's pretty surprising how that little dragon from this place called the Imagination Pavilion becomes our man becomes our manager for the for the dazzlings and myself. <laughs> um I don't I don't know I, I don't know what Figment does behind this behind the scenes, but I'm pretty sure that he takes care takes care of our ticket sales, our promo our promotion status and some and something like that. I don't I don't know, but I gotta say he's pretty much a busy dragon, almost like Spike. Okay, let's get to the next question. This is from CJ Softboy. Is your book, No Ordinary Jukebox, a 100% accurate account of your first weeks in Ponyville? Personally, um, I don't, I don't know about that part. I don't know about that story being like 100% accurate or something, or something like that. It's basically, well, I don't, I don't know what to say. It's, I don't know what to say, CJ. Um, <laughs> how can how can I put this? How can how can I put this? The story, the story, no ordinary jukebox kind of ties in the per the first days of the first time I moved to Ponyville. I have I haven't made a I haven't made like a. Well, someone else already made someone else already written out the story of how of what it's like. Of what my first day was like. So ba so basically no ordinary jukebox is the story of the first time that I moved to Ponyville. So it's not actually the first week, it's actually the first day. Okay, so an Okay, so another question from CJ. How are things with you and Sonata? Oh, Sonata Dusk. Oh, I am so glad. I am so glad that we are happily married. I am so glad that we are happily married. And thanks to all the, and thanks to all the money that the Dazzlings and I have put, to get, put together to put, and put together during the tour, we have made like over like one million, one million dollars. That's an, that's enough to go, go to ch charity in, in Ponyville. I don't know which. I don't know which charity we we could go for, but we at least we at least saved half of it to per to purchase a brand purchase a brand new house for me and the wife to live in. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Elena underscore X Chan. What's your opinion on Aria and Adagio? Aria and Adagio. Oh, okay. Due to the fact that Sonata Dusk and I have been very, very close, Aria may be, may might have become a little jealous of me. Have has become a little jealous of me because she's basic she's basically the bad the bad girl of the group. She's basically the bad girl of the group, and she tends to get a little jealous. And even though she got a lot of uh, Swag, as some people would say, she's a little jealous that she doesn't have that she doesn't have a boy in her life. Man, Adagio Dazzle, Adagio Dazzle. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Flame Blazer, if you're watching this, she 
really misses you. He really misses you while she was on tour with us. But Adagio, we, be, we have become, we have developed a very good relationship together. We have developed a very good friendly relationship with each other. And she's very proud, she's very proud that her sister is met is officially married to me. So I'm very proud that we're actually getting that we're actually getting along. And yeah. Yeah. Chris underscore Chen underscore 14. How's Rainbow Dash doing? She's doing very good. No complaints. She's doing great as a one more. No complaints. Okay, the next Question also from CJ Softboy. I love to hear a live album of you and the Jazzlings recent tour. Any out any live plans in the future? Any live plans in the future? Well, that's basically up to Figment. That's basically up to Figment the Dragon. He takes care of our two he takes care of our tour dates and he take he takes care of the death. Music. I just help I just help out with the beats, along with Vinyl Scratch and Beats himself. And Beats himself. You see, Vinyl Scratch and Beats and I form together a musical team. Sometimes sometimes I work with Beats, sometimes I work with Vinyl Scratch, but it's mostly Vinyl Scratch that I work with because she's been like a, she's like my dance partner when it comes to my music, and I'm big and sometimes we swap places. Beats on, the, Beats on the other hand, were we hardly know we hardly know each other, but we're starting to get pre, but we're starting to get to know each other pretty well. So basically, I don't know if we have any tour dates in the future, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I think this is the last question that I got right here. CJ Softboy asked. Do you think you'll ever perform with Michael Jackson's hologram? Michael Jackson? I wonder who that is. Anyways, I bet I bet he is I bet he's pretty cool. I bet he's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that he's an amazing dancer too. Um, I don't know about a uh, hologram of Michael Jackson, but I think my Jazzy Mac has taught has told me about the guy. If I'm correct, he died on June 25th of 2009. If that's if that's correct, be be sure to com be sure to com be sure to comment that it it was correct. If it was wrong, please remind me. But dancing with Michael Jackson's hologram, I don't know for sure. I don't I don't know for sure. And by the we're gonna have to get some serious 21st century technology in order to do that. But anyways, I don't know. Well, basically that's all the questions that I have here. That I have here. If you if you want to send me more questions, be sure to follow. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram. Be sure to follow me right here on my Insta on my Instagram account. And be sure to check out my Facebook pro. And be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back on my YouTube channel. Be yourself, be cool, and as always, friendship is magic. Peace out.